Hello and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa and I'd like to welcome you out to my backyard back here where the jungle is for now. And we're going to have a serious talk about the difference between elderberry as well as pokeweed, poke salad, many different names does this wonderful plant go by. Now the focus of my video today is going to be on pokeweed. Now, with that being said, let me get this out of the way. I am just an herbalist doing what I do for my family naturally. I am not a practicing physician. I am not a doctor. I don't have a whole bunch of letters behind my name. But I do know what I've been taught and how I've been trained all my life. Now, with that being said, I have a head here of elderberries. Now this comes, look close, it looks like a, like a umbrella. This is elderberry. Now, this is the one that I could find that was completely ripe. It's from a young elderberry plant. So the head is going to be smaller. They can get massive, a whole lot bigger than this. But this is elderberry. I'm going to set this over here. Now, let me zoom in so you can see better. This is beautiful pokeweed. Gorgeous pokeweed. Yes, she can be poisonous, but she's not if you know how to use her and respect her and follow directions. Now, let me zoom back. I'm going to pause it, zoom back out. Okay, now I'm going to get ser really serious now. If you're one of those people who cannot follow directions, then you need to cut this video off because poke salad can be poisonous, yes. But if you know how to use her and follow the directions correctly, she won't make you sick. She will heal you. But if you're not going to listen, I'm not held responsible if you watch this video for being a fool and not following the directions. Now, if you don't know that you're allergic to it, there's only one way to find out if you are allergic. I'm not held responsible if you find out that you're allergic to it. You're an adult and you can make your own decisions. This is for people who want to heal themselves and who can follow directions. Okay, now let's get a little more happy now. With all that out of the way, you have to listen and follow the directions. Even I know to follow the directions. Let me clip this. And you're going to want to have scissors or pruners or something. These are beautiful pokeweed berries. Notice, they're bigger than elderberries and they grow on one stem, not like an umbrella like elderberries do. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to want to have uh, like a small plastic tote, something where you can lay these flat in your tote as you harvest them so you can take them back to your house. Now, a lot of people don't know pokeweed, even though everybody has been taught to, it's poisonous, it'll kill you. Don't touch it, don't get around it. You know why they teach you that? So you can't heal yourself. They want you addicted to Big Pharma. They want you to take them pills they make so you don't get better. And you're stuck taking them for the rest of your life. Now, one thing about pokeberries. 
taken in excess, yes, they can make you very sick. But if you're taken correctly, they are amazing for anti-inflammatory problems, autoimmune problems, rheumatoid arthritis. Yes, they work wonders as long as you follow the directions now what you'll want to do is now you won't see these wrinkled ones oh god skeeters are bad these wrinkled ones are overripe don't want them see these nice pretty well these plump one some of them are a little too ripe but do your best judgment let me put this one down let's find another specimen here we go now you want to get perfectly round not wrinkled pokeweed berries just the pokeweed berries is what we're talking about. And what you're going to do when you get your tray, your box, whatever you use, don't use a bag. Don't use a, you could use a flat bottom basket, but it depends on how many you're going to be harvesting. And you're going to want to lay them side by side so they're not touching. Or it's not so much that they're not touching. You don't want to put them on top of one another because if they leak their juice out, you've lost the medicine. Now, let's see if I can do this one-handed here. When you get home, you can rinse them off if you want to. What you're going to do is take a pair of scissors and, oops, that one blew the coop. You want to snip them off the stem as close to the cap as possible. Let's see if I can get this one done. See the little cap? Come on, where are you? Focus. You want to try to get absolutely as much stem off of that berry. Now, you want to have uh, a cookie sheet ready. Don't let your berries bounce all over the place. Snip, like I showed you here. Snip your berry right, right there. And you're going to want to put it, you can snip them on top of your cookie sheet, but you don't want them to be far away from your cookie sheet. Less damage to the berry, the better. Once you get your berries um, snipped and ready, stick your whole cookie sheet in the freezer. This is where it gets important. Don't dehydrate your berries. It's best, well, you can dehydrate them. It just takes them longer to effectively work. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, you can do this with fresh berries. If I had a drink with me, I'd show you what to do. But most people put their berries on the cookie sheet. Freeze them. Wait till they are frozen solid. Bring them out. Put them in uh, small Ziploc bags. Put them back in the freezer because you don't want them to thaw out. Now, here's where you have to pay attention. What you're going to do, and don't panic on me, is one frozen berry, swallow it once a day. Don't chew it swallow it whole now keep a record see how it works for you now it might take one or two days for you to notice any difference now you're going to only one berry 
one time a day. You're going to want to make sure you keep on a certain schedule. That way you can tell any differences. One berry, one time a day. Swallow it whole. Don't let it thaw out. Swallow it whole. Unless it's a bigger berry, you, you just need to try to swallow them whole. One per day for a week. Then, the second week, you can go up to two berries. Now, if the one berry a day per week, one berry every day per week is working fine for you, that's great. You can increase to two berries per week, but you've got to get your body used to having the one berry per week. On the second week, you can take, at the same time, two berries per day for a week. Now, when you move up to the second berry, if you feel like you need to, if one berry is working fine for you, stay at the one berry. If the one berry is not doing much for you, you can go to the two berries. And you want to take them at the same time each day for a week now if that's working fine for you all right make sure you take mental notes and have a notebook you can if it ends up being too big of a dose for your body you might get a little stomach upset you're not going to die folks you might get a little queasy uh some people do get a little lightheaded that means you need to go back to just the one berry per day now you can go up to three berries per day but usually and that happens the third week but usually that's when most people experience upset stomach the queasiness you're not dying you don't have to go to the hospital you're fine it just means that that dose is too big for your body. You're not going to die. I promise. And what you'll do is if, if you go to the third week and try that third berry and it makes you slightly sick, upset stomach, back back down to the two. Now, you'll be fine doing this for however long you want to take it. Do not go over three berries per dose. If you do, it's on you. Three is the maximum size dose that you should go to. Don't go any further. Now, it's simple, it's easy folks. Don't chew the berry, the frozen berry before you take it, take it whole. You'll be fine, folks. This is old, old medicine. It goes back to the Appalachian Mountain folk. It goes back to the Cherokees. Native Americans used this for many, many eons. People, quit letting these people scare you about taking natural medicine. You know why? They don't want you to take natural medicine. They don't want you well. They want you to stay sick. Come pay them to see them. Talk to them. Them do nothing and write you a prescription. That's why they scare everybody. It's been an old tactic for many, many years. The more they keep you in Big Pharma, the more of a slave you are to them. And I don't know about you, but personally, I'm not a slave to Big Pharma. Not whatsoever and don't intend to. Now, all I ask is if you decide to do this, realize you're an adult and you're making your own decisions. Now, with that being said, if you have any questions, always feel free to ask them in the comment section below the video. I'm more than happy to answer them. 
I'll also have more medicinal information in the description box like I always do. Like I said, pay attention, listen, follow the directions, and you'll be fine. You can heal thy own self, and they don't want you to. Alright, I hope this answers a lot of people's questions. As you can see, this is poke weed. This is elderberry. They look absolutely nothing alike, folks. There's no way, no excuse for you to make a mistake and think that they look alike. Even the leaves look different as well. Study, pay attention. Know your area. Know the plants that grow around you so you can heal thy own self. It's easy. It's simple. Anybody can do this. Okay, I look forward to seeing y'all in my next video. I hope this helps you out. Many people don't know about this old medicine. And there are many, actually, the ones that do know about it take it religiously. And they've had their arthritis, their rheumatoid arthritis, their autoimmune inflammation go away. It helps them. And only one berry, two, three, depends on your body and how your body works. And you can be pain free. I look forward to seeing y'all in my next video. Stay safe, stay sound, quit letting these other channels panic you and paranoid you. Keep your head on a swivel, stock your pantries and your medicine cabinets with as much as you can. I look forward to seeing you in my next video, and may you each be blessed. Y'all take care.